Good morning, y'all. It's your boy Pearl Woods, Trill, Santiago, call me what you want to call me. Um, thank you so much for viewing my last video. I really appreciate it. I had a great time dragging that motorcycle in the backyard and trying to film it. But today is a different day. You can call me uh, mechanically unknowledgeable because the VTX is having some problems. Uh, I just want to show you guys and then we're actually going to go take it on a ride anyway. Please don't kill me. Well, here you guys go. This is the other bike. You see Kali back there, but this is the <sighs> Honda VTX 1300C. Um, I've had this bike for uh, 16,000 miles in two years. Um, it's been a great bike. It's given me, given me absolutely no issues. I've kept up with maintenance. I've had forks done. I've had a uh, full brake set, which is maintenance. I've had um, oil changes and shaft changes, which I've done, which is fine, uh, brake bleed. But I have not had any carburetor work done. And this is where I'm going to get in trouble with a lot of people. But I do want to talk to you guys about this because I want you guys to uh, give me your insight on it. Um, yes, I have not had any carb work done to the bike. I did ride it throughout the winter um last year so it, it never sat for more than maybe eight seven or eight days uh it's never sat and when i used to ride it in the winter i wouldn't just start it and let it sit i'd actually keep it up for um i'd actually keep it running and i'd, I'd actually go out and ride it for 30 minutes you know 30 45 minutes in the cold i don't know i was crazy back then but um i since have had an issue with the um Airbox. So I, I went to go start the, I rode it for like 60 miles one day and then I went to go, uh, start it the next day and it wasn't starting. And I was like, Oh, that's weird. And, um, my bike, uh, one of the guys that I ride with, he recommended that I check the airbox. Again, I don't know anything about bikes. I don't know anything about maintenance. I am just, I'm just a boy, but, um, I went to go check and look to see what was possibly wrong and there was just gasoline all all inside the air cover like all over it and i am so good at catching these things um also i'm missing one i didn't notice until uh whatever i got this bike from a dealership and it's you know a higher mile bike it had it was super cheap it was super super cheap not as cheap as i actually could have found it on facebook which i never thought about but Again, it ran 16,000 miles with no problem, so it was pretty sorted when I bought it. Um, but yeah, I was missing this fifth screw. And actually, the, the missing hole was right here, but I moved it here so rain doesn't get in here in case it does rain. Um, yeah, I don't know what the heck happened to it. I don't know what happened to it, but we're going to open it up just to check it out. I did ride it for like three miles the other day. Um, I had to clean out the, I had to clean this out cause it was full of gasoline. Uh, I guess we'll just see if anything kind of happened here. Yeah, I'm not seeing much, but you guys can see the residuals. There's your, uh, carburetor, right? Carburetor. Um, I had gas all in, I mean, you can see where it, where it like ended. Like it was just gas everywhere. It was disgusting. So I was, I'm just going to check this before, but I haven't done any work to it since finding that out, all I did was clean it out and order a new air filter. And I was wondering what you guys think it might be. Uh, I was thinking maybe the carburetor, cause I was like, oh, well maybe it's running a little bit too uh, rich. So we adjusted the airflow down here. Um, right, Rich, well, it's running with too much gas. So I was like, oh, maybe, yeah, maybe it's that. So I adjusted the I adjusted that down so it idles a little lower, and I don't think that's really it, but that's what I've done for now. And then I was thinking, oh, maybe it just needs some carb work. I've also heard that there might be rust in the gas tank, um, which, you know, could cause these little chunks to be building up and getting trapped in the carb. I don't know if that's the case or not, but that'd be pretty bad, <laughs> obviously. But even with the fact that I haven't done anything to it yet, to get that problem sorted. I haven't even taken it somewhere. Um, unfortunately, as you guys may know, uh, taking old bikes to a mechanic shop 
is the most expensive part about owning an old bike. I mean, they charge $175 an hour in labor alone. So if you don't know what the problem is and what they need to do to fix it, you're paying for an extra two hours of uh, labor, and I just don't want to do that. I think, I think it just needs a carb tune-up, a carb clean. But at the same time, I'm not going to be riding this thing enough uh, this year to do that work yet. If anything, I'm going to do the work uh, at the beginning of next season. So I don't even really think I need to do it now. Um, I'm just going to try to ride this thing very lightly until next year. I actually think I am going to put this bike away and then ride Kali throughout the winter. Uh, just because the wind protection is really nice and uh, whatever. So, yeah, with that being said, that's the problem with the Honda, the VTX. It doesn't need any service right now. Oil change and shaft fluid was like 1,500 miles ago. So we're still very under on that. Um, I do need my frame brackets for the back there. I have a set of um, bags back there, like nice bags. But the water leaked through them, so I took them off. And I had a trunk as well. I took all that off. But I do want to put at least the bags back on. Um, so I'll get that done soon. But we're also going to be doing an oil change on the Venture today. Uh, just day in the life of somebody with old bikes. I guess you need to oil change a new bike too. But at least on this bike, it takes like... On the Venture, it shouldn't take too long at all. So um, we're just going to tighten that up a little bit. Put these screws back on. There we go. And yeah, we're gonna go on a little road trip. Um, a, because we need new filter. It needs a new filter back there, not just the oil. So we gotta pick up a new filter. We gotta pick up some new T6. And yeah, let's go get the, let's go get the oil changed. But I have some special news for you guys. Um, while we're waiting for, I think it's, is it? Advanced Auto Advanced Auto Parts sources the K&N filters for the oil because I want the K&N filter because it has the nut at the end uh, it Just makes it easier to take the filter itself off um, I have some news for you guys. So there's nothing to do right now. I don't know if you guys know, but it's 755 uh, Advanced doesn't open till 930 uh, Here so we're gonna go be degenerates and we're gonna go um, It's just it's like five minutes from the events that I'm gonna go to, but we're gonna go gamble, boys. We're gonna go gamble, boys, because I haven't gambled in a while. And what else are you gonna do at 8 a.m. on a Sunday? <laughs> go to church? Hopefully soon, but not right now. I don't have one in the area I, don't, I go to right now. So, for the time being, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go get the helmet on, get the GoPro on, I want to test, we might skip this whole segment of the video if the audio is bad. Um, I have the DJI Mic 1 here uh, attached to my bote. And I'm going to take the GoPro and I'm actually going to see if I can get some POV riding. Uh, actually, is this thing going to start? I guess that's the first question of the day. Hey? Let's see. We've got the... Yeah. I mean, it's a VTX. It's a VTX, it always starts, no problems, ever, right? Ugh, there you go. Um, we're gonna go take it uh, out, and I wanna see if I can get the, the mic to sound good. If it doesn't sound good, we're gonna skip this whole part, and we're gonna just skip straight to the, to the oil change. But you know what, I wanna have some fun this morning. I want my Shirley Temples. They got free Shirley Temples out there, so you know I'm gonna take advantage of that. Uh, got the helmet with the mic cam. Uh, it's supposed to get up to 75 today. I have this new jacket I just bought. It's like a Yamaha, like vintage leather jacket. I love it to death. It might actually be too much for this morning. So I think I might just throw on a hoodie. But regardless, I'll see you guys when I get there. All right? Or when I get this whole thing started and out of my neighborhood. Give me, give me like five seconds.
Alrighty, we started. I've got the filter here. Very excited. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I've got the filter here. Um, I just need a gallon of Rotella T6 15W40, baby. That's what I've been running on both of the bikes. All right, now that we're home, I have the mic attached to the front of my body. Uh, we did about 20 miles, so we're gonna see if that mattered. Um, I guess until I get a situation fixed, like until I, uh, like know what I can do to fix it, I'm just going to be checking before and after every ride I have on this thing just to make sure there's no gas in there. Um, yeah, if you guys have any ideas, it's a carbureted bike, you know, the VTX, everybody knows the VTX. It's the best bike ever. Um, but yeah, it is a carbureted bike. It's, uh... I, I don't know. I really, I, I really don't know what could be causing it um, here. So, a little spook. But yeah, I just don't want to pay for the R and I don't want to pay for the R and D to uh, figure out what it is. I guess. I mean, I, obviously, I will if I have to. This is my girl, but you know, um, it's hard for it's hard to know what you're doing without opening it up. Or like, it's hard to know what's wrong with it without like opening it up. Ooh, that one fell in a bad place. Ow. Ah, fuck. Okay, anyway. Let's see, gas. Gasolina, gasolina. Oh, you know what? We are starting to get some. Yeah, we are starting to get some right here. Okay. So I'm not gonna ride it anymore. Now that I know that there's there's actually a little bit of, I don't even know what the fuck that is. That's gross. Whatever it is, it looks like schnapp. Yeah, if you guys know what's wrong with it, let me know. Um, yeah, I'm still getting gas in there. So, all right, let's get ready for the oil change. Well, actually, we were so close to uh, doing the oil change, but in order to do the oil change, a I want to warm this thing up a little bit. And B, we need to go get the oil. So we're gonna go take both bikes out on the same day. Um, we'll take this bike out to go get some, uh, to go get some oil. So cold start we'll on the Royal Star Adventure. There you go, she sounds mean. So we're gonna let her warm up and then we're gonna uh, take her out to go get some T6. And then after we get some T6, we're going to uh, hopefully actually do this. Get some breakfast too. So again, I'll call it. I'll uh, hop back on the vid when I'm a little further away from my house. No, you already know. You already know what I had to do. Give me some breakfast. <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry. So we're gonna get some breakfast. Um, can I get a? Uh, breakfast toaster with bacon. Okay. And then, do y'all have just like chocolate milk? Uh, just regular milk. Regular milk? Alright, I'll just grab a... I'll just get a water with that. Just a cup of water? Yeah, a cup of water is fine. Okay. What else can we get for you? I think that'll be all. It's 517, then it'll be out of the spot. Appreciate it, thank you. You're welcome. Alright, and so we're gonna get some breakfast. <sighs> Alright, y'all. I know we we're supposed to do an oil change on the Venture today, but I can't find T6. You know, uh, the auto zones don't carry it. We don't have O'Reilly's around here. Uh, Advanced Auto Parts, O'Reilly's, not, like nobody has it. And the only place that had it, actually Advance had it for $40 a gallon. So I'm just gonna order it online and we're gonna, we're gonna do the oil change in a different video. But I just wanna take you guys on a little morning vlog. You know, we got to take, the VTX out, figure out that, you know, there is still uh, gas getting into there. So we're going to have to figure that one out. I'm dropping it off at Steve, my favorite 
human being on the planet, my mechanic. He's going to go uh, look at that for me. And then um, the venture, I need to do clutch discs, a new clutch disc plate. I don't know which, I don't, I think it's, is that, it's probably that one, right? Ah, ah. We got to do new clutch plates on it too. So um, I have the, I have the plates. I have a Barnett clutch kit right over here. See how I just spend money and just lays around, not doing anything? I have a Barnett clutch kit, and then if I need to order the, the clutch housing, I, do, I will too, but uh, they were saying I don't need it unless I'm putting more power in this thing, which I'm not. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little bit of everywhere vlog. I'm, I'm going to hope that the video, like me riding, actually turns out all right. Uh, if it doesn't, you know, it is what it is, but I'm going to try not to scrap this video. I'm going to try to upload it for you guys. So if you get anything, it's just me riding around on the girls, you know, my two red babies, my VTX and my venture. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. I am again, so happy you guys got to watch the last one, but this thing is about to die. So let me, uh, sign out before it gets too late. See you guys. Bye. See you next week. Let's see a little test video of acceleration on Royal Star.